So there's no one answer for a rig design or drilling design. Uh, Caterpillar can bring to the table everything from you know 100 kilowatts up to 6,000 kilowatts to meet a wide variety. So whether it's a highly mobile, uh, small land drilling rig or huge offshore uh, semi-submersible rig, Caterpillar can bring power to meet any of those needs, gas and diesel. And obviously, uh, we design in the uh, the emissions and safety legislation, those kind of things. All in. Caterpillar has the the highest uh, uh, support level that can be uh, given to a, a product in this industry. By having the dealerships behind you, you have somebody in, or a company and product support in all of those countries around the world, where a lot of our competitors are lacking. Uptime and reliability are one of our uh, one of our strengths in our industry, and. Uh, and, and trying to quantify that, trying to make sure that when we develop new products, those products meet at least or, or beat our current, uh, our current uh, levels of uptime. The most in, um, important considerations when looking at the type of uh, rigs out there, we have uh, jack-ups, semi-submersibles, and drill ships. Let's take those, those three. Caterpillar has a full range of products and engines to cover those type of, uh, of uh, rigs. Our competitors maybe can co cover two thirds of it. We can cover the whole the whole range. There is a big difference. Uh, Caterpillar pound for pound is the most powerful land drilling module you can get. Uh, the, our latest product coming out, the 1750 upgrade, has about a 15 percent uh, in terms of power uh, per pound ratio over Cummins and MTU. In general, emissions are the uh, single most focused area for product development at Caterpillar right now. The, uh, the good thing about Caterpillar is we're, we're large enough where we can, we can take, uh, looking down in the years coming, what emissions requirements there are that we're going to have to meet with our equipment, take a look at what all the other things that our customers are, are requiring on our engines, and we combine these programs to not only develop engines that will meet future emission levels, but also incorporate some of the, some of the changes and improvements on, on other parts of the engine that we need to do for the market as well. From a customer's point of view, the total cost of ownership is, I put that rig in service day one, 20 years from now, I want the maximum on that return. And, and CAT's answer to that, the most important thing that CAT can do to contribute to that is the, uh, the long overhaul life, the, the period between major overhauls. Uh, we, we maximize that, like I said, we pay attention to, to details, we understand piston life, rod life, crank life. We, we design these products specifically for the oil field and know that they expect 50,000 hours plus of overall life. Caterpillar known for reliability and durability of product, also low fuel consumption. Uh, these are the things that when you look at the total cost of ownership, they make the biggest difference in what, you, what a customer is truly paying out. When you have a company that really takes a look at the total cost of ownership, the first cost, fuel costs, operational costs, maintenance, all those things, downtime and what all that means, Usually, uh, we, we rise to the top pretty, pretty quickly. We all know that out there, we, we, everything today runs on oil. And the, the oil that's left, the big finds that are left are in what we call the deep or ultra deep offshore. And it's exciting out there because the power requirements are going up and up and up on there. We're looking sometimes now on the large drill ships up to uh, 40 to 60 megawatts of power. And the technology that's being used out there is is changing monthly. If you can imagine uh, going into a water depth of around, uh, let's say 12,000 feet out there, drilling down 32,000 feet just to find that oil, you have to have a re reliable power source. It's, a, it's kind of a close-knit type of industry and uh, with that having strong values, good integrity and, uh, and good work ethics, you know, that, that'll bring you to the top because these people typically aren't just looking at a, a spreadsheet and, and seeing what the bottom line number is. They need to know someone's going to stand behind their equipment when they're purchasing it. And developing those good relationships gives them the comfort that when, uh, when things are, uh, need to take care of or, or going bad, they have someone they can, they can reach out and will help them through it.